following demonstration will create a rivet universal connection to create a connection between the two plates. We'll begin in one of the component parts in the idealized part by creating points at the locations of the holes for our fasteners. And it's important to use the holes instead of the mid-surface holes because uh, the traceability will be uh, better on the solid body in terms of updates. So then we'll go to uh, the FEM. We'll go ahead and tell it that we want to suppress holes that are less than 0.3 and those holes were 0.2 in diameter. And next we'll create our rivet universal connection in our assembly FEM. So first we'll specify the number of flanges that are going to be riveted together. Here we have two. We'll go ahead and specify those two flanges. And then we'll select uh, the, the locations as being a series of points. We're going to add locations. And here we only have a point option for selections. We'll go ahead and box select all of our points. And then we can, uh, we'll need to put in tolerances that reflect uh, the distance between the plates. And you can put in physical properties as well. And you can specify a, a material here for the connection. However, uh, you still will have a C bush uh, where you can specify the stiffness of the connection if that's selected. So those are, are really not necessary depending on the type of connection that you're going to be using. And we'll select C Bush and RBE3. So here you can see the, uh, the C Bush and the spiders at the ends of the C Bush to connect to the uh, elements in the shell meshes. So just to show some of the uh, robustness of the update, we'll go back to our component plate model and move one of the holes. Here you can see the mid-surface is updated and the points have moved. Here uh, the component FEM wants an update. We'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, in the assembly FEM you can see that the universal connection needs an update in order to reflect the new location for the fastener. And that concludes the demonstration.